in your React application, you will have components that are 3, 4 levels deep, or even more. So what if you want to pass data using props, from root component to the last component? You would need to pass it through every single component, even though they don't need that data necessarily. And that is called props drilling. We can solve this problem using React Context. So we can pass data like theme data, user informations, and similar. We can use this feature in both class and functional components. But in this tutorial, I'll show you my preferred way, which is using hooks. Code with Sloba. I'll create my context in the app component. You can create yours wherever you need it, and it doesn't have to wrap the entire application. To create it, use the createContext method. This method creates a context and returns it, so we need to store it in a variable. I'll name mine as userContext. You can also set a default value or leave it empty. Inside of our context, we have a provider component, which we can use to wrap a part of the application that needs access to our data. To assign the data, we will use value property, and I'll pass the name of our user. In order to test this, let's create two components. First, create a layout.js file. This component will just hold a div, which simulates the nested component structure that we need. Then just export it. After that, create a sidebar.js file. This component will have an aside element, and inside of it, I will create a paragraph with hello user. This user data should be passed from our root component. Again, export it from the bottom. Now, in our app root component, we can import both layout and sidebar components. Place layout component inside of our user context provider component. And inside of the layout, we can place sidebar. With this, we are providing our user context to both of these components and we can access it without a need to use the props. Let's open the sidebar component and on the very top we can call use context hook. And as a parameter we need to pass our user context object. It will return the user so I'll store it in the user variable. Now finally we can use it in our sidebar component. And when we load our application we can see that our user value is getting accessed from the deepest level. Now the question is, can Context replace Redux full state management library? Well, it should not. You should use Context when you only want to pass the data, but when you want to update it as well, you should use Redux due to performance. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.